Why on earth would anyone start a video like this? In any case, I've wondered a lot about this Swedish alt-right member, but notice he has a really big ego and calls everyone who disagrees with him a heretic. Hell, I've always found the first word in his videos to be quite epic. Greetings, proud sons of Macedon. However, I have to part ways with the golden one, as politically we don't see eye to eye if you look at his Eurosceptic views, disapproval of NATO, and support of Putin. I indeed plan on responding to those videos, but before I get political with the alt-right again, I need an answer to one really awkward question. Why is it that the alt-right, especially here in Europe, hates porn and masturbation? I really just need to know, and I believe that Swedish Hercules is the perfect person to look up to. It's quite safe to say so, since he claims that sex was better a hundred years ago. Yeah, I agree entirely, even though we're both millennials and we have no idea what life was like a century ago, but hey, we saw a photo from 1918 and thought it was pretty dope, so let's go back to the past. Next Saturday night, we're sending you back to the future! But moving on to some responses again, let's see why the porn industry, which employs so many people, must be destroyed. Greetings. Today I want to tell you a little story from when I was 16 years of age. My very first boxing sparring session. Now, I was the youngest guy and the smallest guy and the least experienced guy since, yeah, it was my first uh, sparring session. Um, and, good God, I got beat up throughout the entire session. Halfway through the session, I felt tears coming on. Um, and you know, when you're 16 years of age, you want to be cool, you want to be tough. So uh, tears coming on because you get beat up isn't the optimal scenario. Now I had a choice there. I could either quit or I, as I did, and I'm excruciatingly thankful that I did. I forced down the tears and kept going and got beat up some more, of course. But after the session, I felt very good with myself because I hadn't quit at least. Now, what does this have to do with porn, you ask? Yeah, I was going to ask, what does this have to do with porn? It's not something that takes a lot of effort. Yes, it will become clear. I will utilize an example of two lads, two young guys. They're both uh, 22 years of age. Uh, one guy has accepted me as his uh, guiding light. The other one has not taken the glorious pill. And uh, both of these guys are, um, you know, Western Western guys. So they have been brought up with a culture and a school system that doesn't really teach them, you know, how to conduct themselves as men. So they're clueless when it comes to women, as uh, you know, most young guys are. Uh, and let's be real here. Uh, I think all can agree, except for a few guys who are naturally talented with women. But like, for most guys, are women complicated? Yeah. Are women hard to understand? Yeah. Are women hard to deal with? Yes, they are. So, no question about that at all. I see you're going down the path of saying that porn is on the same level as finding love. Uh, let's see how that example follows. Uh, but anyway, these two guys, they go on uh, a date each. Uh, and, you know, both of them fucks up completely. It is an embarrassment to everyone. And the the girls, they're just laughing at them, basically. Now, the glorious pilled guy, he says to himself, Okay, cool, yeah, I fucked up. Uh, now I need to work on myself for the next encounter uh, with a woman. The other guy, who is not taking the glorious pill, he goes along the path of infamy, the path of porn. And he says to himself, you know what, I have no desire whatsoever to deal with these women. And I mean, I understand. I understand completely that guys do not want to have to deal with women. However, just because I understand that doesn't mean I can endorse that with my silence. So, watching porn then instead. Because, you know, you need to uh, utilize your sexual energy... Uh, some way or the other. Okay, I'm sorry, but I need to stop him right there. There is a sharp difference between doing this and doing this. So if you've given up women to find pleasure in a computer screen, you haven't really found a good al alternative. But for real, people don't jerk off because they don't want to date anymore. People jerk off because it's a pleasure that they do in their own personal time, but they still want the real thing. Also, in this video, he only addresses men as women watch porn too. But the truth is, I watch porn. I watch porn. I watch porn too. Frequently. Girls watch porn. Girls watch porn! Girls watch porn! Anal fisting! What kind of attitude does this guy have? 
So anyway, these two guys, 22 year old guys, uh, the glorious pill guy, he goes on a date a year later. And during this year, he has improved himself. He has gotten more jacked because women like a physically dominant man. Uh, no matter what they say, they do like that, just as they like beards. So if you have a beard, grow a beard if you want to procure a fair maiden and get jacked as well. What? Okay, you're mixing apples and oranges. Just because you jerk off doesn't mean you can't get jacked and have a beard. What are you talking about? And you know, he, he analyzed himself. He said, you know what, I wasn't confident enough. So he works on his confidence. Uh, then the then his second date it doesn't go according to plan at all it uh, is a failure also but it goes a bit better than the first uh, date uh, whereas the guy who did not take the glorious pill he continues to fap the porn and thus he doesn't make any confidence gains uh, he is still completely clueless and you know, hasn't endeavored to improve himself at all uh, now fast forward a few years Okay, who of these guys are in the better position? The guy who has used his sexual energy for productive endeavors or the guy who has wasted his sexual energy on fapping the porn? Because what we must realize, and this is something our enemy has realized a long time ago, is that sexual energy is such an important and powerful force. You must realize this. You must realize that the masculine energy you spend on porn must be used to more productive endeavors. That is the absolutely first step in taking the glory spill, cutting out porn from your life, because you will feel better for it, because you can utilize that energy for more productive endeavors. I haven't fapped the porn in over four years. Why the fuck you lying? Do I regret myself? No, absolutely not. Why you always lying? Everything becomes better without porn. Oh my god, stop fucking lying. Especially sex. And you will be more confident as well. And confidence is good for all things in life. Not just when it comes to uh, fair maidens. Isn't it ironic that this guy claims to not watch porn and yet he himself doesn't have a woman in his life? Now for me personally, I said last year that this year, 2018, would be the time when I obtain a fair maiden that can be a loving wife. Yeah, I'm getting in line. Also, one thing that this guy isn't aware of is about how couples watch porn together. Many of them get ideas from it and learn something new and more about themselves. Porn can develop into a problem. Yes, it's true. But the majority of people do not have this problem. And saying that it will make people less confident and destroy their chances at a love life is just ridiculous. Now, the other parts of this video are quite repetitive, so I'm going to cut the video to the next important part. So, if you're fat, if you're a fat guy, yeah, uh, spend a year trying to get shredded and then you will be in a lot better situation to do glorious things no matter what it is. So instead of opting out for yeah, the easy option, which uh, which is this which in this case is porn, take the glorious pill, which is the harder but yeah, more epic road towards um what you really want the <laughs> What does being fat have to do with watching porn? I feel like I'm watching a propaganda video. If you are fat, you should exercise more and eat healthy. Watching porn has nothing to do with it. You know what? I'm done. I I'm just done. I think we need to have a real talk with these people as it is really starting to rub off on all of us. So you know how certain feminists and race fanatics will think they know everything there is to know about what you want? Well, we have another example on the other side. But still, the way he starts with greetings is epic. A rant on porn and I thought it'd be funny to do. I'm gonna have fun with this. Everybody's watched it, don't deny. 